Hola, what's up everybody? If you guys are interested in any merch, discounts, or tools that I use, please go to the first link in the description. It'll take you to my website. Stay up to date, see all the platforms that I post on, and you can also check out the tool link. Once you click on it, you go here. Everything's broken down into categories, so you can easily find whatever you're looking for. Now enjoy the video. All right guys, hola, bienvenidos, welcome and welcome back. So I have an update on uh, some stuff that I bought. So a lot of you guys were mentioning or asking for an update because you've seen, I guess you've seen some other guys on YouTube use this. I actually saw this at AHR in person, demo, you had to feel it, you know, uh, see how it worked and everything. Uh, the one I actually saw that was uh, using it was a DIY uh, HVAC guy. So Dave uh, said really good things about it. And uh, the only reason I never got it was because uh, as far as I know, I can only get this on Amazon. So I'll leave a link for it in the, in the tool link. You guys already know. But this... Uh, this was out of stock and then like it was a higher price for a while and I wasn't going to pay. I think it was like 250, 270, something like that and I wasn't going to pay that. So I got it off Amazon. I want to say it was around 150 now. And I had actually purchased the wrong one. Come to find out it there's two different types. This is actually the HVAC kit. So this one is the Gentech compact torch kit for oxyacetylene and it comes with uh four different tips it says uh number four number six and then it's gonna have the twin and the rosebud so so you can see it in all its uh glory there so you got a rosebud over here you got the twin tip these two, I believe it says number four and number six. We'll see how those turn out. And then you do get um, adapters because it is, uh, I want to say that's B, the B tank uh, hose. And then it's going to give you an adapter for the ones that you guys should have, which is the A type. So it's going to give you, the hoses are B. And then there's adapters B to A. I actually bought all that stuff already because as you saw in my previous one, I did a kit with uh, quick connect quick connections and I needed to upsize to B, which these are. So these are, I'm gonna probably, I'll be able to interchange them and I'll just have extra adapters. I might use that on my turbo torch and we'll figure something out with that. But uh, yeah, let me show you why I bought these. So I've been super busy. Uh, we've been doing a lot of change outs. It's hot as hell outside still. So I've been in that mode of just like fix it, get everything going, get the unit up and going and move on to the next one. Get out of the sun. I just had this, I picked it up and I just hadn't uh, opened it yet. All right, I think you're supposed to cut it out. It's all, there's zip ties and they're all hot glued together, which has probably got worse being in the van here. So quick connect and it is a compact torch. So so we'll, we'll try out all of these tips when I get out of work. I gotta go back in right now. But I just wanted to kind of set it up. I could have used this today. I really could have. But I, like I said, I've been busy. So those are the tips. Now these tips, I believe you can still use any of the tips that you guys may have already uh, collected. But I'm probably going to give those to my brother or something. Because I had just bought a whole bunch as well. But this comes with a rosebud tip. These tips. If I don't like these tips, then I'll use one of my old ones. Uh, but if you want it, if you want to take advantage of the compact uh, aspect of it, you're going to use the ones that it comes with because those are really short, uh, and the handle itself is super small. So, uh, so yeah, those are that's how you put them on. They screw on. 
just like your other ones. So if we wanted to put, well, yeah, like any of them. Anyway, the reason I bought this, uh, it is cool that it's compact, right? It's, it's super small. Uh, I work on a lot of small equipment, but just handling it might be easier versus your traditional uh, torch setup. But this is the reason I got it, because as you know, the hoses on a regular torch setup is super rigid, it puts weight on it too. These are super light, super flexible. Uh, these won't get tangled up as, uh, as much. You won't have issues like today. I do a lot of brazing to, or lately I've been doing a lot of brazing for evaporators that are, they're, what are they called? Center mounted evaporators. So they go on the ceiling and they're flat. So either way, even if I did the other styles, it's all the same thing. I gotta be up on a ladder uh, doing a, some brazing. These are a little bit higher uh, ceilings and stuff. So the torches are gonna be at the floor and then I need them, you know, super long. And I always constantly have to be like, pulling on it or, or unraveling it because it gets caught a little bit. So these should be a lot easier for that kind of, uh, for that kind of uh, brazing job. And then just in general, like being able to put this in my new torch setup is gonna be super simple. Like you can put this away. And this is really long. I forgot how, how long this one is. Uh, I'll put up all the oh, it's a 12 foot hose so 12 feet all right here you can put this away super easy anywhere in your little uh, torch kit so by the uh, magic of editing you will see me using these and putting them on my my torches in a second I have to go pick up some stuff for work so yeah all right guys so here's the uh you know the the torch kit that we're using it's in a backpack rolling tool bag so let's get into it it is hot as hell oh we got a cloud so trying to minimize what we uh or i guess i mean it's gonna weigh what it's gonna weigh right but these are my old hoses hard to kind of maneuver especially on a ladder or something like that where I'm brazing close to the ceiling, you know, a walk-in evaporator, things like that. So let's make that a little bit easier. Dump that out. Just gonna need the quick connects because I have quick connects on my uh, torch hoses and that setup. All right, so the new hoses, and as you can tell, you know, way easier than this, has the uh, B-type, um, connections already that's what it comes with so just keep in mind that's why they do give you the adapters so they will give you these adapters to go ahead and connect to a uh, HVAC torch kit that you already have because you're gonna go to a from B to a so they already include that for you that's why it's it's a kit you know based on that and uh, the only thing is so I'm using quick connect. So we're going to remove the quick connect part. I'm not, I'm not going to need the adapter anymore since it's the same one, uh, because we're, we had to upsize here to get to use these, uh, quick connects. We don't have to do that anymore. So let me just take this off and put them on, on this side. All right. So we got those in there and now we can use these hoses with our quick connects and, uh, ready for brazing. All right, so that's going to roll up really nice. It doesn't even take up any space, honestly. So we can put it in there. Got everything packed. And, you know, close it up. We'll test out all these tips as well. See uh, how good they are. If uh, I need to keep any of my old ones, or I can just switch over to, to these because they got a little rosebud and this little twin tip. So I'll try that out right now. All right, so let's go ahead and unclip this. Let's get in the shade because it is hot on, on this side, so 
gonna roll on over to the back. A little behind the scenes, I'm gonna have a fan behind me because it's so damn hot out here. All right, so we got our, our setup here, right? So let me un, undo it real quick. We're gonna get our hose, we're gonna do our connection. And get the handle real quick. So there is a number six on here. Let's open our gases. I just realized it doesn't come with a uh, striker, but you should have some sort of striker. I use a traditional striker. So I, I'm gonna do a, a video on brazing very soon. Uh, just in general, how I do things, how I light my torches, little tips and tricks, because I work in a lot of hospitals and I work around a lot of food. So there's different things that you have to take into consideration, uh, different setups. I do have the turbo torch. Uh, so I've just been asked, like, how do I do my flames? What's the right way to do it? You know, like little techniques here and there. And I burn holes through the copper and it actually happened to me recently where I was using a rosebud tip and I burned through, so, or a twin tip and I burned through it and I was like, oh, okay, I'll just fix it, whatever. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll go over that, the turbo torch, brazing in general, the little tips and different ways that I do it. So we'll get into that soon. So little quick tip is if you're indoors basically anywhere it could be a commercial or residential crack open your oxygen right just a tad bit and then open your acetylene that way you already have that flame and that gives off a pretty good flame i kind of like that one actually and it's supposed to be uh, nice and quiet when you do these, um, when you set their flame, because if you're, if it's screaming, that's not set right. Right, so you wanna adjust it and you'll learn how to do it. That way it gets, it, it also helps it get nice and hot because uh, if you're starving one side or the other, it's, it's not gonna heat as evenly as it should, so. You can do it that way if you don't know what, if you don't know, if you haven't done it before, light it, right? And you wanna be right in between where it's throwing some smoke and not throwing smoke. And then you can introduce your oxygen and uh, adjust accordingly. You do want a big flame. And if you turn them off at the, boat, at the same time, you get a crack. So we have that one. That was the number six. Let's compare it to a number four. So on these two tips, you do have to take the base threaded part. I believe the other ones come with their own. So I guess you just have to decide on a four or six. Yeah, these other ones come with their own because they're not gonna be able to be removed. So like on these tips, you, you can slide it through. So that's why they do that. I guess it saves them some money too, right? So then let's do the same thing. This is a number four. That last one was a number six. I'm actually kind of impressed with this little thing. Let's crack. So it's a little finer of a flame. That's a nice flame too. So you can just see what kind of flame that gives off. It's a very thin one. So smaller parts, that'd be a good one for. And uh, these, uh, these knobs have really good control because like on the older one, on my bigger set, uh, any little movement on the knob, like would turn it, turn it off or make the flame go crazy or whatever. These are actually really nice. There's a little 
tension and resistance there and you actually have to move it quite a bit to get a to get a big difference in your flame like if, if you move it a little bit it's not going to go crazy you can uh, fine tune it so that was a number four i like the number six a lot so let's go for one of these here and they the only thing about these, same thing with the other one, because I bought all of these tips for the uh, the regular set that I have. They do bend quite a bit, so you have to be careful with these. These are really thin. So let's put a twin tip on here, see what that looks like. And uh, it says number six on this one too, so it's a twin tip number six. Let's try this one out. I didn't get them both on the first try. All right, let's tone that down. But I, I really like how, how fine these are, the number, the number sixes. And then you just wanna go in there and kinda of adjust accordingly. And that's gonna give you a nice two flames to kinda of wrap around a little bit on uh, some difficult braises. I, I've been seeing if these are good for like u-bends you know things on the ends of the evaporators or coils or anything like that i have a lot of leaks with so that seems like a good one for that all right next up we got our rosebud tip this is the smallest rosebud i've ever seen also is labeled number six so you got four little uh holes at the end there that make your rosebud i think uh well, i'll have the other one here yeah, like on, a, on one of these, I mean, it just says, this is from Uniweld, just says type 17-15. This is their rosebud. So like this one has two, four, six, eight little holes on the end and it gives off a pretty big flame. So let's see what this one does with half the, the openings. That's a, that's a damn good flame too. So, that's actually really cool. Uh, I might use this one quite a bit on bigger pipes. That's gonna be a nice, a nice flame for some bigger uh, stuff. And I did like the, I do like the twin tip. And I did like the number six, so I think I'll stick with these uh, tips. They seem good. Let's try the number six again. That's a pretty good flame for everything I do. I do a lot of quarter inch and three eighths. And then uh, on suction lines, I go up to like seven eighths. Somewhere around that ballpark. I don't really do anything over an inch. So for me, this is great. And just so you can see, we can use our old tips on here, I believe. So I'm gonna use my original rosebud that I bought from Uniweld. And it's, it's not horrible. I mean, it's probably the size of your old one altogether when it's said and done, but you can still use these. So you still get that huge flame if you want it. If you have uh, other tips that you had bought and you want to still use with this new hose, uh, you can. If you guys go out and buy the uh, flexible one, you can put this one on here too. This is a number one. So I think it's just, this is just really cool for me because I do a lot of weird, awkward brazing. So if I can go in there and be like, oh, I'll just turn it this way. And, you know, instead of trying to fit, you know, in there and get that angle right, this is the shortest one they have. I believe this is six inch. They make them even longer. So uh, people were like, you know, why are you gonna buy that? It's a stupid tool. Look, anything that makes my job easier is, is good for me and it's worth it. But uh, somebody I mentioned this to, they were like, oh, that's cool. And I think they, they asked about the, the length of it. I'm like, well, they have longer ones. And for me, the first thing that comes to mind is, you know, the guys that remove like the filter dryers that these uh, condensing units are coming with now, you know, for residential 
On split systems, if you go outside in the condenser and you want to put a filter dryer, more than likely you're going to put it by the evaporator or you're going to put it simply outside the condenser, right, where it's easier to do. But there's a filter dryer in that condenser from the manufacturer, so what are you going to do? You're going to cut it out and braze it or you have a leak, you know, somewhere that rubbed out. So if these are longer, that's the first thing that comes to mind is that a lot of guys are climbing in these condensers to do these repairs. I don't want to have to do that. I have bad knees. I have bad back. I'd rather just reach over and do it. And you, you can do that with this. This is the uh, flexible uh, torch tip. It's called the tip from Empathy Tools. If you guys check them out, it is in the at my website in, in the uh, description. And you can use code reliable for 10% off. And, uh, you know, that's the first thing that came to mind. And when I mentioned it to that person that we're, I was talking with, they're like, oh, dude, that's true. I had, to, I had to have my boss hold my feet so I could jump in uh, head first and kind of reach it. So, you know, no more dangling in it, dangling in the condenser, jumping in the condenser, sitting in the condenser, having somebody hold your feet. No more of that. Just buy one of these flexible uh, torch tips. They come in longer sizes and you can use that. So let's try this one out. So we got a nice flame, pretty good there. Again, that's a number one. So, and some of the guys were asking me, does this get hot? It doesn't. So this, this is where all the gases are. I mean, the closer you get to the flame, that part will be hot, but this part, you can hold it from here if you really want to, but it's not gonna do anything. So. Pretty cool that you can use your old tips and then they give you the, all the new tips. Now I will leave a link in the description for this. I, I think it's really cool, just this aspect, right? Just kind of have it out and then like roll it up or just honestly bun bundle it up and put it back in the bag or whatever you guys are using. Um, so I'll leave a link for it. It is hard to get just this set, which was under 200 bucks. And it has the adapters and everything you need to hook up to your set or existing set. Uh, I will try to leave a link, but like I said, this one, I waited a while and it finally came back in stock. And then I just saw that it, after I purchased it, it is out of stock again. So uh, if you guys want to keep an eye on it uh, and look for it, or I'll also leave a link to the set that they always have, which I've seen other guys, uh, you know, link and stuff but it's gonna be this exact set plus the nitrogen regulator. So if you guys are in the market for new regulators and you wanna pick up the hose, you can buy that package. It's gonna probably be like twice as much just because it comes with the regulators. But if you guys, you know, wanna upgrade yours or you need some new ones, yours are banged up or anything like that, you know, go ahead and pick that, that set up. But if you guys want just the hose, uh, I'll leave a link to that too, but you're gonna to have to kind of keep an eye on it and see when it's in stock because it says currently unavailable and then all of a sudden it'll just be available. So that's what happened with me. I waited uh, a month or two to get it, so. All right guys, so I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you guys are interested in uh, taking a closer look at this torch setup, which has been such a back saver for myself, check out the other video where I actually go over uh, how I put it together, what it looks like, uh, everything that I can carry in it and uh, you know make your own decision the tool bag itself is about 200 bucks so uh, instead of carrying around the torch tote and dragging it around carrying it around which i hate the most out of a lot of the, the stuff that i have to to carry and uh, you know putting on my cart i kind of started cracking my cart because i would just throw it on there uh, i decided to get something on wheels and this this tool bag just came out from klein and it's been really helpful and it fits perfectly the uh, tanks and everything it's almost like it was made for it so go check out that video uh, this is just like an update because people were asking me if I was gonna get these hoses and I was like yes I've seen them you know I, I saw them at AHR they're really cool just haven't been able to find the uh, the exact one that I wanted because there are different brands that do it uh, these are the most cost-effective ones because uh, I've seen the same kit for like twice as much from other brands so this one costs under 200 bucks, but you get all the tips. Uh, the only thing is, like I said, I was having a hard time actually finding it in stock because it always said out of stock. So it's just something that comes and goes. Uh, but either way, I'll leave a link for all that stuff. 
Remember to check out my tool link. Uh, if you guys are interested in anything that you see in my videos, you know, go check that out. Tools, bags, uh, safety gear, uh, and then also check out anything that, that I have for sale. Uh, you can grab yourself a reliable t-shirt. I do have koozies. Uh, what else did I have? Patches, if you guys have the tactical backpack or you wanna put it on your uh, tool bag. I've been meaning to do that myself, but I gotta wait a little bit to do that. But I have patches on there and I also have arm sleeves. So if you guys are interested in any uh, UV protection when you're out in the sun, these arm sleeves are really dope. Uh, I'm actually impressed with the quality because I buy arm sleeves all the time. I've done it for years. I've always tried to kind of push it as a uh, precaution for you guys that are, that are out on the rooftop like I am like all day. Uh, it really made a difference. I used to get so burnt and you know, I don't want to be putting on sun lotion all the time or anything like that. So and I can't wear long sleeves where I live. I feel like I'm going to hyperventilate. So these arm sleeves are like a game changer. They're really nice quality. Uh, they're they're kind of thick to where they won't just rip because I ripped a lot of uh, other brands that I bought and uh, they feel super soft. They go on, they slide on really easy. I've, I've already sold out a few batches and the guys that get them say that they love them. So I really appreciate the feedback. So if you guys are interested in arm sleeves, go check that out too. I think they're really dope. And um, I'm, I'll have more stuff to come, just uh, trying to get back into it. Uh, like I said, stay tuned. I'll, I'll probably try and do that brazen video next. Uh, just to kind of answer some questions that I've gotten a lot of, uh, just, you know, tips and tricks. How I do things, maybe how are we, how I would repair patches that I make or that I find. Because uh, that's probably what I do the most is a lot of leak repairs and electrical repairs. That's what we do a lot of. So I'll go over that in the video soon. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you all are staying safe and I'll see you guys.